and the second video publishing today my first impressions of the Innovate Arctic Claw 300. I mispronounced and misspelled Arctic last week. Remember the ice test last week? Well, I remember struggling in elementary school with spelling Arctic. I always left out that first C, so I apologize. It's Arctic Claw. I can't even pronounce it now. But anyway, this is my first impression, not the full review. But guess what? We're already over 30 miles, so the full review might be coming sooner than you think. And basically, last week, we did the ice test. And this week was the snow climb up a 14,000 foot mountain. And just a reminder, eight millimeter drop from heel to toe, coming in at 11.4 ounces or 325 grams. So, you know, on the higher side as far as weight goes, seven millimeter, yeah, seven millimeter lug depth with those tungsten carbide spikes or micro spikes on the bottom of those lugs. Oh, look at those lugs and look at those micro spikes. It is a sight to behold. And just a few first impressions. All right, we'll start with maybe the not so positive and then we'll move into the positive. The not so positive thus far is that my feet are getting wet. My feet are getting wet, especially through the toe box. Uh, listen, I'm running in some pretty crazy conditions. I realize that, but this shoe is made for snow and ice. On both of my runs thus far, my toes have been really wet when I by the end of the run. Now today, I was post-holing probably about 20 times where I went up, and what is post-holing? In running, it's basically where your leg sinks down, in, that's why you wear snowshoes. So I post-hold down into the snow, maybe two or three feet, and then you have to pull your leg out, and then your shoe is like, you know, just socked in snow. So I get it, like this is, um, this is not the, the complete Gore-Tex running shoe, and that's okay, like that adds a lot of weight, and I don't like that either, but I am noticing a decent amount of moisture coming through this toe box. Uh, not the end of the world, it doesn't really bother me while I'm running, it's more like when I get done, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm soaked, my feet are, my, my feet are completely soaked. And I'm very intrigued of Innovate. Uh, hopefully you see this video. I would love to try more shoes from Innovate. Listen, Innovate, if you don't know, is based in England in the, in the fell country. Basically there's these, it's called fell running and correct me, everybody from the UK, I apologize. I'm not gonna, I've never been there, but from what I understand, it's pretty big hills in North, West England and it's like the Lake District where there's a lot of marshy areas and there's a lot of mud and so Innovate is known for creating shoes that help keep your feet dry, I hope, right? And help you deal with the mud and that is why they have these incredibly well-designed uh, lugs on the bottom of their outsoles. So anyway, Innovate, I'm intrigued to try more shoes as far as figuring out will they keep my feet dry since you know you create shoes in this very muddy wet conditions uh also another first impression i am thinking it's a wide like the platform so inside the shoe where your foot is actually resting right on top of that midsole um it's wide and that's okay um i prefer probably a little bit more of a narrow fit but um, so anyway, it's good. Like it lets it, it lets my toes kind of spread out a little bit, but I am noticing it's a fairly wide landing area or platform inside the shoe. And some quick good news, quick good news. I could feel the micro spikes on the snow today. I could feel them like, okay, I've done that mountain two weeks ago in the speed cross fives. I noticed a difference 
in the micro spikes. I don't know. It like I was still sliding back just a little bit, but I noticed a little more traction going up that mountain. So if you live in the north the northeast or if you live in anywhere with uphill mountain snow runs, I'm intrigued. And again, this is not my full review. I need to take these out for at least 20 to 30 more miles to get and preferably on that snow again, just to make sure I'm not imagining this. But I feel like I could feel those micro spikes helping me today get up the mountain and down the mountain. Uh, like I, I didn't feel uh, insecure at all coming down the mountain, but up, I was like, okay, I got a little grip here, got a little grip here. So that is good, innovate, good news there. And the key word, here we go. Oh, those are my thoughts, by the way. Those are my first impressions. I will give you my full review uh, in probably like two weeks from now. All right, and the key word is claw. You better believe it for the Arctic claw. And <laughs> I can't even say it. And uh, the question of the day actually has nothing to do with this guy. Nothing to do with this guy. YouTube family. How are you holding up through these winter months? Are you, and like, be real with me. Don't cut any corners. Like, I'll be honest, I'm done. Like, I'm ready for, I'm just ready for some mountain running in the dirt. And uh, every day I feel like I tell true love that, guess what, true love? The, the sun is staying out a little longer. It's staying out a little longer today. Like, the days are getting longer and it's just, like, it gets me so excited. So, let me know. How are you holding up? Are you surviving this winter? And I'm sorry if you're watching this in the Southern Hemisphere. How are you surviving summer down there? I guess is the question to you. But all right, thanks for being here for video number two. If you missed vlog the vlog this morning, go check it out, upper right hand corner. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Woo, get you some, get you some uphill vertical in the snow.